Good morning. Welcome back to my channel, friends. I hope you are all doing well. Um, today I thought I would do a little bit of a different video. Uh, instead of working on my craft desk here, uh, I've been creating a lot of mixed media art pages and I thought I would do something a little bit different today. Last week I skipped a Tuesday video just to take a break and have uh, some time off. Uh, my Thursday video was a pre-recorded video uh, of a thrift haul, but today I thought I would take you with me thrift shopping and see if we can find some uh, awesome crafts at thrift stores. We have, uh, let me just think, one, two, three, four, five. There's five local thrift shops that I can think of right now that I like to go to on a regular basis. Uh, I haven't been in a while, but I thought why not take you along and see what we can find and I'll show you all the different thrift stores that we have in our air in my area here so if you are new to my channel welcome uh, my name is Kathy I'm so glad you stopped by uh, consider subscribing I would love that and um, I have almost I think 500 subscribers or do I already have 500 yes I do have 500 subscribers I know for some of you that is nothing <laughs> It's no big deal, but for me it is a big deal. Um, I'm quite excited about it and I want to have an intro video one of these days just to let you know a little bit more about myself. Um, I was going to do it at the 500 mark, but uh, I'm kind of thinking about maybe waiting now to the 1000 subscriber mark to do an intro video. I don't know, should I do it now or should I wait? Um, I would love it if you would share my channel and uh, maybe mention it on your YouTube channel if you um, want to help me out to help me grow my channel I would really really love that and I have no problem giving credit to your channel as well um, I am in Canada so I don't know how many Canadian youtubers are watching this uh, whether you are in Canada or America wherever you are watching from um, you probably have different, uh, I don't know if you'd have different styles of crafting, probably not, but I would love it if you would share my video with your friends, your other fellow crafters, just to help my channel grow. I'm trying really hard to get to a thousand subscribers and uh, let me tell you, it's not as easy as I thought it would be. So yeah. Today I'll take you along and we'll go do some thrifting. I don't know how much I can record in the stores, but I will do my best to do so and show you uh, the different names of the different craft stores I go to. Um, yeah, and see what we can find. And then at the end, I'll show you all the different items I purchased. So I think that will be a fun day and something different. So let's get ready and head out and uh, see how the day goes. And I'm so glad you are here, and uh, thanks for being here. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly pause and put this in here. Um, so we were cleaning out uh, my parents' home, and my mom loved magazines. And uh, so I collected a bunch of magazines from her house and took them home. And I'm going to go through them and uh, see if I can find any cutouts or things I can use in here for uh, my crafts. And uh, I did record a home video a little bit more about cleaning out my parents' home and my mom was a home video. So if you're interested in that, that will be on my home channel, um, I believe the day after I post this one. You'll find that on my home channel and it is linked down below if you want to follow and subscribe there I would love that so we have a whole bunch of birds and bloom uh, magazines she really loved the birds and bloom magazines oh classic pickup trucks okay that's interesting didn't even realize that was in there but she had also a bunch of country women magazines I kind of remember these a little bit and I can probably find a few items in there that I can salvage and, and uh, put into my junk journals. But lots of Birds and Bloom magazines and I love these as well. So 
So I'm excited about that to go through them and see what I can all find in them. And she had some farm and ranch. I know when she was in the hospital, I did purchase several magazines for her as well and brought them to her so that she'd have something to look at. Oh, a couple of Manitoba magazines. That's pretty cool. That's where I'm from, so that's perfect. Some more farm and ranch, country, country women, birds in bloom. But yeah, there's like a ton of magazines here for me to go through. And I will have to check with my sister yet to see if she wants to go through them as well. And we can maybe split them up. She loves crafting like I do as well. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, quickly show you this and then we'll get back to my um, thrift store shopping video here.
and here we are at thrift store number five i took you to all the different ones and i only um, recorded the craft section of each thrift store uh, to post for this video however if you would like to see a little bit more detail and a little bit more about the different thrift stores uh, longer videos of it i do have that on my home channel and that will be posted tomorrow and that link will be down below if you're interested okay so i've got a little bit organized here and i will show you my craft haul and i am quite happy with some of the items i found you know i go um i don't go every week thrifting but whenever i have a chance i do go and i like to stop at all the thrift stores or sometimes even just pop into one of them that's closest to my shopping center and uh, but today i i feel i didn't find in some of the thrift stores i didn't find absolutely nothing and in some of them i found more and so i got lucky in one of them that is close to my area and got quite a bit of stuff somebody must have cleaned out and i was quite excited about it so this is from this shopping trip and also a little bit from a different week of a shopping trip so i put those few items in here as well so i got this little uh, i guess it's a little keychain um, i really love the mint color and the wooded beads on there but i thought i would use this maybe as a, a tassel or a um, uh, for my junk journal to hang up at the end um, i thought that would look really nice And maybe I should show you the price of each item. I don't know. This was 25 cents. This is, of course, in Canada, so it's Canadian money. And then I got this beautiful rose stencil, 35 cents. For the most part, our uh, thrift stores are not too expensive, I don't find. And then just a, a Bloom uh, magazine. It had some beautiful uh, pages in here that I want to use in my junk journal. I love purchasing magazines from thrift stores especially if they are a new condition because that is an excellent way of uh, reusing them uh, in your junk journals or whatever art you're making um, it doesn't have to be just junk journals in your glue book or uh, whatever it may be and I would love to make a garden junk journal and then I got a couple of packs of brand new stickers and they were $1.25 each and they have not been opened. So I think that's a very lucky find. I thought they were super cute. And then I got a bird's book and it looks pretty vintage. Um, I don't know, it was 50 cents. Uh, some point in time it was, I guess, 79 cents. I'm not even sure what year this would be. Uh, but I love the cover of it alone. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And it looks like somebody has ripped a page or a piece of a page out of here. And that is okay with me. Um, there is lots of good pages in here left to use. And I can just pull these out, rip them out, or cut them out um, and use them on uh, cards. And it's got some very beautiful bird uh, pictures in here that I would love to use. Beautiful bird bath. Just very beautiful. Nice big bird uh, feeder, bird house. I don't mind the black and white with the blue background. That looks pretty cool. And instead of just cutting this out, I could also just use the whole page and making and fold it in half and use it in a junk journal. I might do some of those pages for that. You know, I have been very tempted to open up an Etsy shop. And because uh, I can collect quite a bit of stuff at our craft stores and I would love to take and... Uh, sell some of it especially if i get duplicates but i don't know <laughs> all the rules and regulations for selling on etsy 
Um, if any of you have an Etsy account and you do know, I would love it if you could let me know uh, somehow, either by following my Instagram page and messaging me on there, or even just leave an, a comment for me on that, because I would absolutely love to know like the rules on, on selling different things. Like, I used to think that Etsy was only for homemade crafts, but I have recently discovered that lots of people sell their thrifted items on there as well. And I thought, oh, that would be kind of fun to do. So if you do know what the do's and the don'ts are, I would love it if you could let me know. And uh, also like doing the shipping. How do you know what to charge for shipping, <laughs> right? Cause I don't know, I feel like that would really confuse me. But my daughter used to, before she got married, she was the manager at a post office. And then I often joked about it. I said to her, oh, I should open up an Etsy shop and you could do all the arranging for the shipping for me and you would know what I should charge for everything. And, but now she doesn't work there anymore. She's gotten married and has a newborn baby. Well, she's already four months old by now. But um, so now she doesn't work there anymore, which is too bad in a way. She could have helped me out a lot with, with the different pricing. And uh, this is just a beautiful thin little uh, book of roses. And I thought it would be so pretty to cut these roses out to use in my junk journals. Very bright, vibrant colors with a black background. Some of the pages are loose and falling apart, but that's okay. Just very pretty. And then I got, and I didn't record everything that I went and got because, um, because it was very full and very busy at all the thrift stores I was at. Uh, we have thrift stores that put out new things on Mondays. And then if you go on a Tuesday, they are just super, super busy. So with so many people around and in the way, it's really hard for me to record. And I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable enough, I guess, to record in front of a lot of people. But I hope you enjoyed the tag along anyway. And uh, I did as much as I could record. And um, so I did this on a Tuesday. And then you're seeing this on the following Tuesday morning. And this is just a book of patterns. I think they're um, these are transparent patterns to use if you want to do like cross stitch and things like that. Which I would love to get into cross stitching. But I thought I could use it for a pattern for like just drawing or in uh, different uh, pages as well. I thought that was kind of cute or even just include in my junk journals. That I think that would be really cool. And I love the crinkly paper as well. They all fold out so this would be very nice uh, big pages to use in my junk journals. Oh, okay, I'm at the end now. I see I have to fold them all out this way. But yeah, I thought that was a really cool find for 25 cents. And then uh, I got this big gardening book. And I, oh, I guess I took that price off already. It was two bucks. But it is just full of beautiful, beautiful gardening photos. And I probably won't even take this apart because I don't think I'll have the heart to take this apart. But, uh, oh my goodness, I just absolutely love it. There are so many beautiful illustrations. Like, it's a big, fat book. And it's, like, heavy. But even ha having it as a coffee table book, I thought that would be very beautiful. I have purchased... Uh, a few other books at a value village some time ago that I just I bought them to take apart for in my junk journals and have never had the heart to take them apart but uh, I am thinking about doing a flip through Fridays of the different books that I have including coloring books and the reason being is because I absolutely love coloring and um, 
so I thought maybe I would make my Fridays, flip through Fridays, um, of different gardening books and different books I use for my crafting and coloring books and so on and so forth. If you're interested, you should let me know if I should do that. But I, I'm thinking I will do that because I love doing flip throughs and even just the paper sound and without the talking or with the talking and just the sound of paper being pages being flipped through. I've always loved it. Um, it's so relaxing to watch. And this this uh, 12 by 12 paper pad I got on a different week. And then today when I went, I found the small matching one. So I think they must have put this out one week and then put this out a different week. This one was $4.25 and the small one was $2.75. Now I'm sure the pages aren't all in here. Um, I'm sure some of them have been used. But oh my goodness, I fell in love with these papers. Absolutely love, 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 love the papers. And the pattern and pattern on there is just so pretty. And then that was January and February. And then March. And April. It's so pretty. And May. Well, maybe none have been taken out because so far all the months are in here. And June. I am by a very bright window. I hope it is not too bleached out for you to see it. Beautiful roses. In July. Absolutely love this page. In August, sunflowers is one of my favorite flowers. So for each month it has the ephemera you can cut out and then one solid sheet. September. So pretty with the apples and the birds and the butterflies and the berries. In October. And November. And it's summer, so I guess there is no pages missing. Love that. I guess somebody just didn't uh, bought it and didn't need it after all and just decided to donate it. This is from Graphic 45, these, uh, this uh, 12 by 12 uh, paper crafts. And then we've got the small matching, matching uh, paper here, which has got the same... Uh, pattern in there as well and then I got this very beautiful doily or that's what you would call it beautiful absolutely love it and then I got a whole bunch of small things I got a pack of chipboard stickers beautiful looks like there's a few used out of this pack and then I've got a whole bunch of little baggies with uh, looks like a whole bunch of different ephemera in it and oh, here somebody even marked this as junk journaling and each bag was 75 cents so I think that's a good deal I'm going to open them and just kind of quickly go through them. These are beautiful ephemera pieces for your journal.
probably won't be able to show you every single piece. This is a cute little bingo card. But so many beautiful pieces. Oh, love that vintage typewriter card. And this one, you there's so many cards in here. It just needs a little bit of decoration on here. Beautiful um, ephemera for your uh, pockets for in your journal. Some math cards in there. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. Goodness, I feel like it's going to be too bright by this window here. This is already later in the afternoon now and when I'm recording this and the sun is just and it's getting warmer out here you guys I've been talking lots about all the snow we've gotten and we've been having it in the pluses so it is starting to melt I have hope you guys there is hope for a garden coming and once I start with gardening and things like that I will record some of that as well but that will be on my home channel and if you want to follow me on my home channel I, you're very welcome to. The link is down below for it. Some stickers. It looks like just a bunch of random things put together and put into a Ziploc bag. But so many beautiful ephemera pieces. I love it all. It's just going to be hard for me to show to you all of it and each piece separately because there's so many bags and uh, each bag has so many small pieces in there. Years ago I got really lucky with, or a few years ago I should say, I got really lucky with a huge haul like this as well with a lot of Christmas stuff in it. I think that was me and my granddaughter that did all video on that one look at this old-fashioned mini photo how cute is that I love that but yeah so many items I will just kind of show you a few beautiful pieces I mean they're all beautiful I love them all How are you guys all doing? Did you all, how are you doing? Did you have a really good Easter? Sorry, I almost, uh, I was thinking about something else as I was asking that. Did you all have a very good Easter? We did. We had our kids all down for Easter. It was so fun. The grandkids did some Easter egg hunting in the snow. <laughs> it worked. They still really enjoyed it, even if it was in the snow. Oh my, there's so many whoo, bags full of, of little goodies in here. I'll have to take my time to organize all these and put them all in the proper place. After I did my organization video of my craft room, I want to try and keep it that way. And my rule of thumb is, is before I go get more new stuff or do more shopping, I got to organize first what I have. I don't know how I'm going to organize all these small pieces, but I will sit down one day and, uh, oh, here's another one of those small little miniature pictures, black and white and vintage. I love it. And every now and then there's a sticker couple taking their dog for a walk. Would have been kind of nice if they would have just put it all in one big bag, but 
And then here I go just taking it all, right? I should have left some for somebody else, but... I feel like our area, uh, there's not, maybe not a ton of crafters, I'm not sure. But I never really see anybody taking the craft items. Uh, I'm not sure, is that just for me? <laughs> but I feel pretty lucky anyway, regardless, that I got all these beautiful pieces. So many pieces. <laughs> there are too many pieces for me to show them, show you each individual piece. Just gonna kind of randomly go through them. I haven't seen them yet either, so it's kind of new for me as well. Uh, one more bag to go through. Some nice tags in here. them all why don't I I feel like I'm gonna bore you with this but I hope you are enjoying it I hope you enjoyed the craft haul video and coming along with me okay and I think there's one more bag here and look how big this pile is. Once I've opened all the bags and gone through all of it, it is a lot of stuff. I feel quite lucky that I found all those pieces. Some beautiful flowers, some stickers, some cards. Love these vintage tags. Okay, I think I have gone through all the bags now. Look at that mountain of stuff. Wowzers. Well, wow, I'm very happy with my craft haul for sure. I hope you enjoyed the video as well coming along. And um, yeah, I think I'll close this video here for now. And I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment from where you're watching. I would love to know where you are from, uh, where all my crafter followers are from. And uh, when I go onto my YouTube studio, I notice a lot of people watching are not even subscribed. So I would love it if you would subscribe and then hit that like button and leave me a comment that would be great i would absolutely love that and i'd love to get to know you better and if you have a channel that you wish i would follow let me know and uh, i will for sure do that and thank you for being here my friends and thank you for coming along and thank you for watching and we will see you next time bye for now